Oh. Ooh, sorry guys, stupid capture. Uh, let's do this again. Hey everybody, it's Red Egg Matt here, guys. Um, two videos in one day, it's a good day. There will be a romp video, either tomorrow or Tuesday. Guaranteed, it's that major one on the Craftsman that should have gone out forever ago and <clears throat> didn't. So, today I'm doing overview on the gas pedal, guys. Just put this on here after I got done doing that video for you guys about everything else. I really got to get this tire fixed with some slime or something. It's got water inside of it, and it also leaks. But it's got good new bushing on the inside, so my front steering is amazing now. Now I just took a took advice from Matt Baker, guys. Go check out his videos on his channel. He's a pretty cool guy. Sorry about my hair, guys. I'm, without school, I just really don't care about making myself look fancy. Um, <clears throat> but it's your standard bicycle. Uh, brake here it's a plastic one obviously like the one on the craftsman and it's run down on this uh, bar that is from a uh, freaking uh, oh, crap uh, push mower it's a push mower handlebar uh, one of the flat pieces so I just cut it off right here took it off bent it with a hammer and then put one of the original screws that hold this mounting bracket in and it doesn't wiggle side to side because that one bolt is really tight. So this whole thing is just one bolt holding this whole mount thing on. And then it's tightened down here on my desired section. So for my foot right there. It goes up in there, wraps around down here behind the steering column. I'm trying not to make sure it uh, gets destroyed because the steering rod here, I don't want the steering rod to hit it. I'm not fixed steering guy. I don't know if you guys seen that video where I fixed the steering. Or did I put a video of fixed fix the steering? Ball joint crap, so I just put a bolt through. My buddy Nick told me two nuts against each other. It'll never come undone. It's a bolt down here through the rod. Some washers, a lock washer. It's on there real good. So that's my fixed steering. So I also, Matt Baker, dude, if you're watching this video, I got a separate choke. I took the original throttle on my mower and I marked out the thing. So it says choke, arrow points down here on fast so the top shuts off on off and the bottom down there is on on so <laughs> excuse me guys but if i'm going to make a if you get anyone my buddies come over and, we aren't, and they're going to ride this they better i'm going to show them off the little choke right there so they don't mess with my motor um so i took the original throttle cable pulled it out set it down here yeah it's a touch these electrical connections i'm going to put one of these tab things like this up here to hold it on there better but for now it's just electric fence wire holding it on and it's pulling down these grounds and stuff but it shouldn't be too bad on them uh, but okay so now that cable is held in there it's not held in there it's super tight it's just held on there so it wiggles back and forth but I took the original choke thing out so now there's no choke up in here so when I push my gas pedal and it goes up in this range up here that doesn't matter there's nothing there's no choke there the choke cable I cut it and now comes down off of here into a little electrical tab there's one of those electrical things to connect two wires together crushed it around the choke cable and then crushed it around the throttle cable so now they're connected on there and I got a whole choke system so when I push down to on the back of the sharpies where it shows you pushes that forward and the choke is on as you can tell right there and then when I pull it up into locking place no choke so I got a separate choke now so if uh, Matt Baker if you want to do a separate choke on yours dude that's, that's how I did mine for free no, no money no buying a separate choke cable and whatnot I just hooked it up the redneck way now right here is my throttle it comes around with a washer. I have a washer with a little screw in the middle and then a little washer on there so I can hold this big washer on there. And it's screwed into the little plastic sliding piece, my throttle right there. Uh, and then I have a spring got a hole drilled in the washer like Matt Baker's idea. And then I have the holding it up here on this tab up here in the top here. Now, yeah, it doesn't come all the way back up full range. I have to hold onto the cable thing and push it up. I have to hold on the cable and push the bike brake up, but it works for me, so it's good enough. It's, you should build them to how they work for you guys. So if you're working on it, making an off-road mower, then build them how they work for you. Now, this right here, the thing I want to turn into my parking brake, I uh, was wondering what happens, because I always flip it forward when I'm driving because my leg hits it because I'm a 
tall feller on a little mower. So I flicked it forward real fast and I seen right down here this little tiny little notch right there. I don't know if you can see it right there. That little hook right there caught this bike cable and pulled it and I was like, oh, if, if I forget that's there and it dangles down there and I whip this forward, that's going to break my bike cable and my gas pedal and then I'm going to be stranded stuck somewhere. So I took drill, drilled two little holes right here, run some electric fence wire up in there and then tied this cable up so that it doesn't go anywhere. Yep, that's how I did that. I don't see if you can see my gas level, guys, all the way up there. I'm about to go romping uh, with it. But hold on real fast, guys, and I'll start it. And then I'll let you see how the gas pedal works and what range it's got. It's not got a massive amount of range, but it's pretty good for this little motor. And uh, once I do this pulley swap, this thing will be really cool. So. gas pedal guys. It works good, yeah I know. Yeah, I'm gonna have to figure out get a tensor spring so it pulls it back better, but for now guys it's gonna work for me. Uh, I'll be making a uh, you know oh my god hold on. Let's go romping now.
Well guys, that right there is a short video for today. Uh, two videos for today, uh, gas pedal test and uh, everything else. The gas pedal is not perfection, but I've got it, so it's good enough for me for now. But I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video, and as always, rate, comment, subscribe, and uh, if you have any other ideas you want for the Murray, if you're going to see the Murray, tell me guys, I'm thinking about buying some bigger skinnier tires, if you've seen that video, it's going to be pretty cool having the big front tires. So, uh, see you guys later, and as always, rate, comment, subscribe, I think I said that now twice, wow, good job, man. Uh, but, uh, talk to you guys later, and uh,